friends welcome in our own teacher channel class 9th science lesson number 9 environmental management workshop 2 the link of first workshop you will get in description box before starting the workshop subscribe my channel and to get notification touch the bell icon question 4 write notes 1 meteorology the science that studies the interrelationship between the various components of air natural cycles geological movements of the earth and climate is called meteorology it includes the study of storm cloud rainfall thunder lightning etc based on these meteorological studies weather forecasts are made which are useful to common people farmers fishing industries water transport etc 2 climatic factors the climate of any particular place is influenced by a number of factors these factors are called as climatic factors the climatic factors are dependent upon the geographical conditions of a particular region climatic factors include direction and speed of wind temperature atmospheric pressure humidity visibility sunlight cloud etc these climatic factors are taken into account while constructing a runways seaports skyscrapers bridges etc monsoon model monsoon models can produce very accurate forecast of rainfall during monsoon season in india the india meteorological department and indian institute of tropical meteorology works towards designing and developing various monsoon models The first official seasonal monsoon forecast was issued by H F Blanford the founder of IMD which was based entirely on Himalayan snowfall There are three types of monsoon models One mathematical model in this model the mathematical analysis is done to holistic model in this model predictions are based upon many parameters which were used in other models three statistical model in this model a collective study is undertaken by understanding the current climatic observations in a region four industrial waste industrial wastes are generated from various industries waste includes chemicals oil pigments metals etc it is not only large in volume but also hazardous industrial wastes are disposed into water bodies which cause water pollution many toxic gases are emitted in air which leads to air pollution fayu plastic waste various domestic and urban waste such as carry bag disposal plates bottles cans packaging material etc constitute plastic waste plastic waste contain harmful chemicals these chemicals kill useful microorganisms in the soil and thus hamper the 
natural decomposition process. These wastes are not easily degraded by microbes. Hence, they are non-biodegradable waste. Use of plastic articles should be avoided to reduce the accumulation of plastic waste. 6. Principles of First Aid The basic principles of first aid is A, B, C that means airway, breathing and circulation. 1. Airway If the victim has difficulty in breathing, the head should be held in a backward sloping position or the chin should be raised so that the respiratory passage remains open. 2. Breathing If breathing has stopped, the victim should be given artificial ventilation by mouth to mouth resuscitation. 3. Circulation If the victim is unconscious, then after giving mouth to mouth resuscitation twice, the heart should be pressed down hard by pressing the chest with both the palms. These two actions should be repeated alternately for about 15 times. This is known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Question for you. Give examples of the importance of climate in the living world and explanation in your own words. Climate plays a very important role in our day-to-day -day life. It influences human lifestyle directly or indirectly. Natural environment is responsible for the development of organisms. For example, climate and weather can strongly control what fruits, vegetables and crops can grow. The diet, clothing, housing, occupation and lifestyle of people of a particular region is to a very large extent determined by the climate. For example, the design of houses in different geographical regions of the world is determined by climatic conditions. Similarly, loose dresses are popular in regions where the climate is hot. In colder regions, people wear warm clothes that protect them from cold. Various processes such as weathering of rocks in the earth's crust, formation and enrichment of soil, etc. are influenced by climatic factors. Microbes present in the soil play an important role in formation of organic materials. This process depends upon various climatic factors. Question 6. Explain with suitable examples the care to be taken when using the methods of transporting patients. Different methods and procedures are used to transporting or carrying a patient. These methods must be implemented in such a way that a patient is not harmed in the process. 1. Cradle method It is useful for carrying children and underweight victims. 2. Carrying piggyback it is useful for carrying an unconscious patient. 3. Human crutch method. It is helpful for supporting a patient whose one leg is injured. 4. Pulling or lifting method. It is useful for carrying an unconscious patient. 5. Two hand chair method. 
it is useful for helping patients who can hold their body weight but are unable to use their hands 6 four hand chair method it is useful for helping patients who need support below the waist 7 stretcher it is useful for carrying an unconscious or a very badly injured person question 7 explain the differences weather and climate weather refers to the atmospheric conditions at a specific time at a particular place climate is a long term predominant condition of the atmosphere weather is continuously changes climate does not change continuously the changes in the weather may occur for short period of time the changes in climate may occur slowly over a much long duration the changes of weather is for short duration the changes of climate is for longer duration degradable waste and non degradable waste degradable waste can be decomposed easily non degradable waste cannot be decomposed easily degradable waste does not require much time for degradation non degradable waste requires more time for degradation degradable waste can be decomposed by microorganisms non degradable waste requires different techniques for degradation example of degradable waste waste food fruits paper etc example of non degradable waste plastic rubber glass metal etc thanks for watching this video again we will meet with a new lesson